Hello friends, welcome to the Power System Experts YouTube channel. Our today's lecture on how to use CLI command line interface in PSS. So for CLI, just open PSSE 33. And here you can see that there's open GUI of PSS software. So if you can if you are interested to basically see different reports and different options available in GUI through CLI, so here there is a output uh, under the output bar, there is a command line input section. In CLI input section, so that is available through here, you can toggle your command line inputs here and also you can add from here. So in CLI option, there are two options available. The one is Python and one is PSSE response file. So in CLI, mostly we do through PSSC response and also for Python, we do through our interpreter and added our scripts and load through the recording button. So here we are selecting the PSSC response. So in PSSC response file, if you are interested to load your case directly through this CLI interface, so I mean for that purpose, you must have a case available in your installation directory path. So for that, there is a CLI guide available in the document section of PSSE. So here you can see that there are different chapters available involving the CLI commands. So in order to basically add your case and also see your different reports in your case. So for example, if we are interested in our PowerFlow data entry, and loading our case first. So there are different options available like here under the activity you can add a case first for in a capital so it's a case sensitive. So here you can see that it given enter saved case file name. So save case file name that we are using mostly that is uh, you can check from here that is also a sample case sample.sav. So in order to see that you need to give this complete name sample.sav and also SANV. So I, I'm interested in sample.sav. So here you can see that the case is open and with all options are set. So I mean you have not opened any uh, case through your GUI interface. You have directly opened through your CLI. That will basically ease your life. So here you can see different party, different option as well. For example, if I'm interested in different activities, like I'm interested in to the see the different options available. So that is basically read and opt. So this is activity that you can add and you can see different options available. So for this, I'm, I'm interested in most important things that after loading your case, you are interested to see the data reports. That is very important. So in data reports, like if I'm interested in with respect to different category plant data and this type. So for example, this is a command of list owner, list KV and list op option is avail available. So these all activities IDs you can add in your CLI section and you can access these files. So for example, if I'm interested, also I'm interested in the finding or something in my case. So you can just say find and enter your bus number and you can enter a desired bus name, you can access that bus particularly through CLI. So this is how basically you access different thing. So next important thing that I want to show you is the different reports that are involved in this area. Like for example, in the limit checking section, I'm interested in V check that I'm, I need to see that which buses are violating the limits, just say V check. So here you can see that there is inter output device for no output put zero for output report device put one. So for example, I'm, I'm interested in the report just press one and click enter. So he, he said that give me the violation limits. So V max and V minimum. So remember V max must be greater than the V minimum and then comma and 0 0.95 and then press enter. So here you can see that the same report that we have seen in the through LC section. So I mean some buses are violating the limits that is in our voltages 
and no bus are violating under volt like under volt limit so this is how you basically access different sports so in order to see all the commands that are available in cli section so you can see that there are different chapters available for under dynamic simulation setup and also program automations there's a 20 chapters available so start your learning pssc through cli and making your life easier and you can learn from the scratch from chapter 1 2 3 and 4 and if you have any question just let us know we will make another video for you thanks